This is it, the brand new Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus, a flagship with Kirin 920 and Harmony OS Next. Yes, Harmony OS Next, a completely new system different from Android and iOS. You can't run any Android apps on it, and you can't sideload any third-party apps, just like, you know, iOS. In fact, Harmony OS Next has become the world's third major mobile system. So how does this unique phone perform in gaming? Will Harmony OS Next be a better Android or the second iOS. The Huawei Mate 70 series features a dual framework system, supporting both Harmony OS Next and an earlier Harmony OS compatible with Android. The reason is there are not enough native apps on Harmony OS Next now. What I mean is that some major applications that everyone relies on, such as WeChat, Alipay, and TikTok, are already available, but some apps with only hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands of users are not yet available. For me, the existing native apps are enough for my daily use, but for work, there's no Imaging Edge app on native Harmony OS Next, which is used to connect to Sony cameras remotely. I personally don't have too many complaints. This is a brand new system. I mean, I'm actually quite satisfied with the first version of Harmony OS Next. At present, Honor of King and PUBG Mobile have launched early versions for Harmony OS Next, and both of these two supports 120 FPS, which is suitable for a performance comparison. The Honor of King only needs 3.47 volt to reach a stable 120 FPS. Compared to last year's Mate 60 Pro Plus, this is a significant improvement, with a 20% reduction in power consumption and a lower temperature. If you only look at the temperature, the Mate 70 Pro Plus is even lower than some A Gen 3 flagships. The power consumption is similar, but the temperature is better. Is there some mysterious technology in a Mate that we don't know about? Here I got the large area of EC on Mate 70 Pro Plus. The area is about 7,000 square millimeter, and it is much lighter than the conventional Weyberg chamber, even less than 4 grams and it's also covered with black graphene sheets. Now that the vapor chamber is in my hand, it is easy to explore the heat dissipation capacity. Here we use two ceramic heating sheets with the same power. Place them at the corresponding SOC position of the two vapor chambers, and then take video with a thermal imager. Three main aspects are observed. One is the diffusion speed of heat. The other is the uniformity of heat distribution. And the third is the overall temperature of the vapor chamber. During ceramic heating sheets were turned on, the heat dissipation rate of the Mate 70 Pro Plus vapor chamber was significantly faster. After the temperature stabilizes, the Mate 70 Pro Plus vapor chamber does not have a lower surface temperature, but also exhibits a smaller temperature difference. At the end of the test, we also discovered an interesting phenomenon. When the power is stopped, the Mate 70 Pro Plus's vapor chamber will cool down significantly faster. Simply put, it can release internal heat more efficiently. On the basis of being thin and light, it has stronger thermal conductivity and heat dissipation. Which makes me more curious about the internal structure. After polishing off the corners, you can see a non-metallic matter layer. It is currently speculated that Huawei could have used some kind of ultra-light non-metallic material to make this powerful vapor chamber. That is why I love Huawei. They always make such crazy products that are beyond my imagination. Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus uses a 6.9 inch OLED screen with a resolution of 1.5K level, supporting 1 to 120 Hz LTPO and always on display. Manual maximum brightness is 600 nit, and the full screen peak brightness is up to 1650 nit. The automatic brightness strategy has also changed. It allows users to further push the brightness bar under strong light, giving users the chance to choose the highest brightness. In terms of color, there are still two color modes, normal and vivid. The default normal mode provides a color temperature close to 6600K and accurate color. In the vivid mode, the colors will become rich and bright and more inclined to perception. Of course, if you have your own unique color temperature preference, you can also customize it. However, considering the color accuracy and color management, I would still recommend the default normal mode. The Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus uses a 5700mAh silicon battery, uses our test mode 5.0. However, NetEase Music does not have a native Harmony OS version, so we will use QQ Music instead. The remaining power after the 5 hour battery life test is 44%, better than the 38% of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This is roughly equivalent to some A Gen 3 devices with similar battery capacities. Of course, the music test has changed, it is not a completely fair comparison, but it's enough to see the improvement in battery life in daily use. 
in terms of charging, the formula is still the same. 100 watt wired and 80 watt wireless. Here I also show the charging time from 1 to 100%. You can pause and take a close look. Of course, wireless reverse charging is also included, supporting 20 watt. There is no doubt that Harmony OS Next will be a better iOS. It has almost the same features as the iOS, and there is no way to get super user privileges. No side loading, apps must follow a unified design specification, and almost all notifications will be sent through Huawei Push. Privacy protection has also been greatly improved. On Android, opening the gallery permission to the app means that the app can access all your photos. On Harmony OS Next, the app can only access the photos I select. That's great. As a brand new system, Harmony OS Next has made improvements in many aspects where Android and iOS are not good enough. Finally, let's talk about something more realistic. Is this phone worth buying for users outside of China? Can it run apps that are popular worldwide? Compatible with Android, Harmony OS 4.3 or 4.2 version can install Google Service Framework through same methods. Harmony OS Next can also run Android apps through Android in container. I can't give an answer to some specific user experiences such as notification delays or whether they will be blocked by security verification. I can only say that they can run. The good news is that some models will be released globally, but they will be installed EMUI instead of the new Harmony OS Next. That should be the product more suitable for users all over the world. So this is Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus reveal. Feel free to leave a comment down below. This is YLab channel. See you next time.